I already recorded some footage today, but it sucked, so I deleted it. Let's try to do some footage that doesn't suck. What's all this? Is that a Luke Skywalker figure with a duck head on it? I guess so. Is that a disgusting pitch pipe? I'm not gonna blow through that. Is that somebody or nobody? All right, what do we want out of here? What do we want? Crappy guitar parts. When do we want them? Now. Is that Sterling? All right, let's see if there's anything good in here. Nope. Yeah, we've got a rollover. AMG Mercedes. Yep. Right here on the cul-de-sac. Yeah, it looks like there's no survivors. Ooh, that was grim. How could I say that? All right, we're going to take the doll. And... Do I need a tension rod? No. Air gauge? No. Fender guitar lube? Gross. Yeah. I'm sure this tub will be showing up at a flea market near you for like, you know. Oh, dude, give me 10 bucks for the whole thing, man. But I will not be selling it. Anyway, what we got today so far is these two really neat mid-century drawer modules, which I'm hoping to sell or pawn off on a friend because they take all the space in the car, but they are neat. And then we got a little doll. That's... I, don't, I think this is from the 90s, I don't know, but hey. Come ride with us, Mr. Doll. Anyway, welcome to a newly paved, uh, newly paved road in the suburbs. I'm gonna have some fun today, I hope. I stepped on the brakes one time too many. Cause that road's got a bunch of speed bumps on it. I have mixed feelings towards speed bumps. Because if that road didn't have speed bumps on it, people would be going down at 80 miles an hour, no doubt. But I had to hit the brakes and this thing went flying. You think it's broken? I guess not. I hope not. Anyway, how are we going to arrange these things so they don't go flying again? Ugh. I don't know, should I just leave this one right here? I don't want it right here though. I know one way we could arrange these so they don't go flying. And that would be to... put them in my buddy's car. So that we never have to see them again. Look at this. It destroyed my camera case. Look at, look at my camera case. Destroyed. I'm watching you shelving units. You better behave yourself. I know they're mid-century-esque, but you piss me off, you're getting re-gifted. You know, just so you know, and who does this? Who does this? You buy the little thing that's got four little feet, right? And why do you leave that there? To support the middle? That doesn't look right. All right, I'm just getting annoyed by these things. 
All right, if any of you guys want to buy these things, uh, I'm right here for the next few hours driving around. So, you know, wave me over and they can be yours. 10 bucks a piece. I'm driving on eggshells. It's got to be a solution to this problem. Buy a van. All right, you want to look in this box, see if we can find any goodies. Any goodies. It looks like somebody else already went through the box, which makes me assume that this thing's broken. Hmm. You guys see any chips? No? All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll wrap it in bubble wrap and put it in the car. That's more easily said than done. Yeah, I've, I've been saying on my records that I could get some, but Yo, homeboy, it's easier said than done. All right. All right, I'll put that over there, so that way there, if I stomp on the brakes, it'll just hit me in the back of the head. I've been inspecting the damage to my camera case. It's worse than I thought. I mean, look. The whole thing's just falling apart. Wait, hold on. Ugh. Yeah, the whole thing's falling apart. That B&H tape, it's just not... Look at this. Get my dead cat, my floaty stick, my new gloves. Oh, my GoPro case. What am I gonna do? I don't have any tape. Do I have any tape in here? No. It's a Band-Aids. Yeah, this is rough. Maybe we'll find a roll of tape. We gotta, we gotta fix our camera bag. What about this ladder? Yeah, I'm tempted, but. Hmm. There's a part of me that's saying in for a penny, in for a pound right now. The car is already filled up with dumb junk. I might as well. Might as well go for it. Here. Is there a weight limit on this thing? Come on. Oh, I see. This is part of the mechanism. All right, what are we gonna do here? Are we gonna die? If we're gonna die, die with our boots on. Oof. There's your thumbnail, lady. Oh my God. <sighs> 16, the beast is rising. Yeah, we're taking it. Oh, did I just say 16, the beast is right? What am I talking about? <sighs> All right. I can't even move the camera back now because it's sustained such serious damage. Hey, look, it's a Davidson. Why is that interesting to me? Uh, all right, we already have a broken camera bag. I don't think we need a broken windshield. But I think as long as we get this out of the way, 
then maybe, yeah, maybe that'll do. We can re reconfigure it later. Wow, did I have the camera pointed over there the whole time? Hey, look. Yeah, I'm putting a ladder in my car. Oh, I'm so good at filming. It's not filming. Uh, anyway. All right, let's see what we can do with this camera bag. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, B&H box. That B&H box deserves better. I reconfigured the ladder a little bit. It ain't perfect though. You wanna see something that is perfect though? The most perfect thing you'll ever see. If you live a hundred lifetimes, That's right. Oh. Hi, how are you? I might take some of this. Hmm. Oh. just never ends. <sighs> Good, how you doing? Thank you. Get out. Get out. Wow, that's one heck of a... Really? 26 bucks, huh? My poor wire cutters. Anyway, I think it's worth it. That's one hell of a wire. <sighs> wow, I seem to have uh, lost track of the commentary on this video. Anyhow. Look what I saw. This thing weighs a ton too. Skill saw professional. I wonder if that still works. Get in there. All right. Don't get in there, see if I care. What are these? They're like some kind of transformers, but I don't think they're great. <sighs> don't want that. Woo! Look at that. And look at this big bucket of things. Mm. I don't know if you heard this lady, but she said she's gonna have more stuff later. 
but that's what this lady always says. Like I think this stuff that she's throwing out today is stuff that she was telling me about two years ago. Anywho. Uh, I don't want to touch it. What do you think is in here? Ooh, now the neighbor across the street is sitting on this porch, porch watching me. Ew, gross. Uh... I feel like, I feel like what I should do here is not take this thing, but maybe dump the contents of this box into this bucket. Wow. Shockingly enough, I didn't spill a drop. Look at this little bad boy. 12 millimeter. Now if I'm lucky, I can get this bucket. right in the middle there. Ha! F you. Not you, not you guys. All right. Now, you know I want this hose. But that's not gonna happen. Is there anything in this box? Actually, there is. What do you think's in this box? Wow. A beautiful wrench that looks like it might be resurrectable. Ugh. And some Matheson gauges. Let's see if we can cut those off with my sad, my sad wire cutters. Oh, you guys enjoying the sound of my muffler? or lack thereof. Wow. Yep. Rumbling muffler and nibbling wire clippers. There you go. All right, here's your roller skate bag. Roller skate case back, lady. Oh no. No, no, there's a tidbit. We can't live without the tidbit. I'm gonna cut that off camera. I don't have the patience. All right. We don't need this. We 
don't need that. We don't need that. So, I'm going to cut this off like I did the other one. And wow, what a fantastic score. She fulfilled her promise from two years ago that she's gonna finally throw some stuff out. I decided to take a minimalist approach to picking and uh, get rid of everything that I found today. I gave it all to my friend and then he gave me this and this and this and this. It's not exactly a trade, it's more like you know, just a casual, non-transactional thing, but I think it worked out well. Because now I don't have to worry that those plastic shelves are gonna kill me while I drive. Those are nice. Yeah, this lady's got crazy stuff in her uh, in her garage. But she doesn't know what she wants to sell and what she doesn't want to sell. And I don't have the patience to deal with that. But I'm going to show you this thing. Look at this crazy compressor. Isn't that wild? I mean, I'm tempted to just pull that off of the, uh, off of the framework. I'm really tempted. Look at that thing. Imagine the electric motor that must have been on here. You know what? I'm gonna take a better look at this. Wow. hose everywhere. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, piece of brass. I think this lady's kind of arranging things in a certain way, but I'm rearranging them. Yeah, that's like four 916 bolts. And this whole compressor will come right out. I think I'm gonna do it. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Tell me if I should do it or not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take it. Hope the lady doesn't come out and yell at me though. She was kind of weird. This thing's neat. Damn, that's really neat. Weighs a ton, too. Ugh. All right, um, I guess you guys don't need to watch me try to fight with this stupid thing. So I will, uh, I will catch you on the flip side. I think I have it unboltificated. You guys want to share in my glory? How about this? I'll share in I'll share in your glory. That way it'll be our glory. Oh, there's your thumbnail, lady. God damn. What the heck is this thing? All right. We'll get that loaded in the car. Hey, can you do me a favor and hold open this back door for me? What do you think about that thing? Obviously, I'm fond enough of it to have... Oh, there you go. I think we've had enough fun today to last for one day anyway. So, let's scoop up all this guy's stuff. 
where we're gonna put it at. There's a lot of room back there, but I can't really get to it, so. Let's see. Is this a catalytic converter? It's hard to tell, it's full of weeds. If it ever was a catalytic converter, it ain't one no more. All right. That's my new scrap metal shelf. I've been pretty much guzzling Diet Mountain Dew on an empty stomach. It's not great. But now that we're done trash picking for the day, we can go home and have fucking supper. Whew. I have no idea if you guys can hear anything I'm saying because my car is so noisy right now. But that's it. We're done. I appreciate that you came along. I appreciate my friend for letting me give him all that crap that was in the back seat so I could fill it with all this crap, which is way better crap. And until next time, thanks for watching.